The Legacy of Robert F. Kennedy's Children, Triumphs, Tragedies, and Turbulence. The Kennedy name is synonymous with American political history, marked by both grand achievements and deep-seated tragedies. Among the bearers of this legacy are the 11 children of Robert F. Kennedy, each navigating the blessings and burdens of their heritage. Their stories, unfolding in the public eye, weave a narrative rich with political ambitions, advocacy, personal trials, and unavoidable controversies. Here we explore the distinct paths taken by RFK's children, highlighting how they've each contributed to the enduring Kennedy saga. Number 1. Kathleen Kennedy Townsend, A Political Path Kathleen Kennedy Townsend, born on Independence Day, 1951, carved out a significant political career in the shadow of her illustrious father. After obtaining her law degree from the University of New Mexico and a master's degree from Harvard University, Kathleen entered the political arena. Her tenure as Maryland's lieutenant governor, from 1995 to 2003, under Governor Paris Glendening, was marked by a focus on education, healthcare, and public safety. Despite these achievements, her gubernatorial campaign in 2002, where she lost to Republican Robert Ehrlich, was a notable disappointment in her political journey. However, she didn't retreat from public service and advocacy, continuing her work in various educational and non-profit organizations, embodying the Kennedy family's enduring commitment to public service. Number 2. Joseph P. Kennedy II Success and Scandal Joseph P. Kennedy II, born in 1952, followed the Kennedy family's political tradition, serving six terms in the U.S. House of Representatives from 1987 to 1999. He represented Massachusetts's 8th Congressional District and was known for his work on social and environmental issues. However, his life and career have been punctuated by personal and public controversies. The most notable was a 1973 car accident on Nantucket Island, which resulted in the paralysis of his brother David's female companion, Pam Kelly. This incident cast a long shadow over his career and personal life. Additionally, Joseph's marriage to Sheila Rauch ended in a complex and much-publicized annulment process, which Rauch contested publicly, adding another layer of controversy to his narrative. Joseph's life reflects the blend of public service and personal turmoil that has often marked the Kennedy family. Number 3. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., Environmental Activism and Legal Troubles Robert F. Kennedy Jr., born in 1954, emerged as a notable environmental activist and lawyer. He gained recognition for his work with the Natural Resources Defense Council and the Waterkeeper Alliance, organizations focused on environmental protection and the preservation of waterways. His legal career has been dedicated largely to environmental law, advocating for cleaner water and opposing pollution. However, Robert's life has also been marked by personal challenges. He struggled with drug addiction from a young age, a battle that culminated in his arrest for heroin possession at the Sioux Falls Airport in South Dakota in 1983. Following his arrest, he was sentenced to community service and later spoke openly about his struggles with substance abuse, using his experiences to advocate for better addiction treatment programs. Number 4. David A. Kennedy, A Tragic End David Anthony Kennedy, the fourth child of Robert and Ethel Kennedy, was born in 1955. From a young age, David faced immense personal struggles. His life was profoundly impacted by the assassination of his father in 1968, an event that contributed to his emotional and psychological difficulties. David's struggles with drug addiction became public knowledge, reflecting a tragic pattern of substance abuse. His battle with addiction was a long and challenging one, involving multiple attempts at rehabilitation. Tragically, his life ended prematurely at the age of 28, when he was found dead from a drug overdose in a hotel room in Palm Beach, Florida, on April 25, 1984. The toxicology report revealed multiple substances in his system, including cocaine, Demerol, and Melaril. Number 5. Mary Courtney Kennedy, Philanthropy and Personal Struggles Mary Courtney Kennedy, often referred to as Courtney, was born on September 9, 1956. She has been notably active in various humanitarian efforts, showcasing the Kennedy family's long-standing commitment to social causes. 
Her philanthropic work has included involvement in human rights and environmental issues, aligning with the broader Kennedy family's focus on public service. However, Courtney's personal life has been marked by significant challenges. She married Jeffrey Robert Rua, a professional sailor, in 1980, but the marriage ended in divorce. Later, she married Paul Michael Hill, one of the Guilford Four, who was wrongly imprisoned for 15 years before his conviction was overturned. Their marriage, too, ended in divorce, leading to a publicized custody battle over their daughter. These personal struggles, played out in the public eye, underscore the complex interplay of public and private life that has often characterized the Kennedy family. Number 6. Michael L. Kennedy, A Life Cut Short Michael Lemoyne Kennedy, born on February 27, 1958, was another member of the Kennedy family who combined a commitment to social causes with a troubled personal life. He was deeply involved in charity work, notably with the Citizens Energy Corporation, a nonprofit organization founded by his brother Joseph to provide affordable heating oil to the poor and elderly. Michael's life, however, was overshadowed by scandal. He was embroiled in a controversy involving allegations of an affair with an underage babysitter. These allegations became a public scandal and significantly tarnished his image. Tragically, Michael's life was cut short in a skiing accident in Aspen, Colorado, on December 31, 1997. He was playing football on skis with other members of the Kennedy family when he hit a tree. The accident occurred in full view of his family, adding to the tragedy. Michael's untimely death at the age of 39 was a profound loss for the Kennedy family and yet another reminder of the family's tragic history. Number 7. Carrie Kennedy, Human Rights Advocacy. Carrie Kennedy, born on September 8, 1959, has dedicated her life to human rights advocacy, a passion that aligns closely with the legacy of her father, Robert F. Kennedy. She founded the Robert F. Kennedy Center for Justice and Human Rights, now known as Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights, where she serves as president. The organization works globally on issues of social justice, including human rights education and legal advocacy. However, Carrie's life has seen its share of public scrutiny. In 2014, she faced a high-profile legal battle after being charged with drug driving. The case stemmed from a July 2012 incident where she accidentally took a sleeping pill, Zalpedum, instead of her thyroid medication before driving. She was found swerving her vehicle on a New York highway and subsequently failed a roadside sobriety test. During the trial, Carrie testified about the mistake, and she was ultimately acquitted of the charges. This incident brought significant media attention, highlighting the continual public interest in the Kennedy family. Number 8. Christopher G. Kennedy Business and Public Service Christopher George Kennedy, born on July 4, 1963, has charted a course distinct from the political trajectory of many of his family members, focusing instead on business and philanthropy. He led the Merchandise Mark Properties in Chicago, one of the largest commercial building managers in the United States. Under his leadership, the Merchandise Mart became a hub for both business and design innovation. Apart from his business pursuits, Christopher has been actively involved in community service and philanthropic efforts. He has served on numerous boards, including the University of Illinois Board of Trustees and the Chicago Convention and Tourism Bureau. Unlike many of his siblings, Christopher's life and career have been relatively free from scandal or controversy, demonstrating a different facet of the Kennedy family's involvement in public life. His path reflects a blend of business acumen and a commitment to social responsibility, continuing the family's tradition of public service in a unique way. Number 9. Matthew Maxwell Taylor Kennedy, Author and Activist Matthew Maxwell Taylor Kennedy, known as Maxwell, born on January 11, 1965, has made significant contributions as an author and activist. He has written several books, the most notable being a biography of his father, Make Gentle the Life of This World, The Vision of Robert F. Kennedy. His writing often reflects on social and political themes, drawing from the rich history of the Kennedy family's involvement in American public life. In addition to his literary work, Maxwell has been active in political and social causes. He has campaigned for various political figures, echoing the Kennedy family's long-standing engagement in politics. 
Despite maintaining a lower profile than some of his siblings, Maxwell's contributions in literature and activism uphold the Kennedy tradition of public service and civic engagement, blending personal reflection with broader social concerns. Number 10. Douglas H. Kennedy, Journalism and Controversy. Douglas Harriman Kennedy, born on March 24, 1967, chose a career in journalism, diverging from the political path taken by many of his relatives. He has worked as a reporter for various news organizations, including Fox News, where he has covered a range of significant events and stories. However, Douglas's journalism career has not been without its controversies. In 2012, he made headlines when he was involved in an altercation at a New York hospital. The incident occurred when Douglas attempted to take his newborn son outside the hospital for fresh air, leading to a physical confrontation with nurses. He was charged with harassment and child endangerment, but the charges were eventually dismissed. This incident brought Douglas into the public eye, showcasing the ongoing public interest in the Kennedy family and their actions. Number 11. Rory Kennedy, acclaimed filmmaker. Rory Elizabeth Kennedy, born on December 12, 1968, after the assassination of her father, has carved out a successful career as a documentary filmmaker. She has directed and produced several acclaimed documentaries, focusing on social issues such as poverty, political corruption, domestic abuse, and human rights. Rory's films, including American Hollow, Ghosts of Abu Ghraib, and Last Days in Vietnam, have received critical acclaim and numerous awards. Her work is characterized by a deep commitment to social justice and an ability to shed light on underrepresented stories, continuing her family's legacy of public service, but in a distinctly personal and creative way. Rory's filmmaking career demonstrates her unique approach to addressing complex social issues, making her a significant figure in contemporary documentary cinema. Number 12. 